Y estamos grabando acá con una compañera ucraniana, de Ucrania, por si acaso no vayan a pensar que es una chica de la Molina que la estoy disfrazando para sacar platita, al final le voy a pedir de que suelte algunas palabras en ucraniano. Nos va a contar más o menos cómo va la situación en la guerra. Y voy a hablarle en inglés para la gente que haya seguido su cursito de Open English, va a entender. Y para los que no entiendan un carajo, al final voy a tratar de ir eh, traduciendo algunas partes. Así que, ok, let's start. Can you tell us how the situation is going on there? Uh, actually, in the part where I'm living, the situation is like this. We uh, do not have the direct conflict, but always we have air alarms approximately three times, four times a day that we have to go to some shelters that we have to hide from a bombing uh, from the air because uh, here it's hard to come with some military because we're close to European border, but they actually shoot um, and try actually to shoot um, from the air because our air is not that uh, very uh, highly um, your air, yeah, your air forces. Protected. Do you mean your air forces are, are okay? Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. Now, from from Kiev, how far away are you from Kiev? Oh, I I don't want to lie, but I think that like this is really a long way to go here. I suppose maybe approximately maybe 500 kilometers, maybe even more. Give me a second. I will check yeah, that. There. I suppose that. Mm, yeah, it's eight hour ride. So uh, this is approximately, yeah, six, 600 kilometers, 629 kilometers. So uh, this is very Western part of Ukraine. But here we actually do everything to um, keep uh, refugees from the eastern part of Ukraine. So we like provide our houses for them. We actually provide food for them and everything that they need because some of them come and they already don't have any houses because their houses were completely bombed and completely destroyed. Some already have, but they were escaping from this part because they have kids and actually our kids are killed as well. So So they just basically they do not think much about who uh, is going to be killed. I mean, Russian army, they kill everybody, civil people, women, kids, doesn't matter. These are not just like soldiers. So yeah, uh, this is not like going only between the conflict. The conflict is going not only between the soldiers, they're actually killing civil people. That's why they're uh, running and they're running really um with huge numbers so we have to like help them we have to keep them and here it's like that place where uh we do this and also we try to keep uh, soldiers so again we give food we try to donate money a lot because there are a lot of volunteers that uh, try to buy some food try to buy so some equipment for them that is needed a uh, medic medicine uh, as well some medical um, i mean not equipment but uh, medical you know pills hey, something that in what is the name of your city uh this is drohobic uh oh. this is Okay, I will try to translate in Spanish. I, I can't pronounce the name of your city because it's too hard, but I will try to translate in Spanish so people can understand. Okay, lo que ha dicho ella es de que están recibiendo a refugiados del lado de, la, del lado de Kiev, de esa zona que está jodida, que están bombardeando a su gente, que están atacando solamente, eh, no solamente a militares, sino también a civiles, y que las otras ciudades están tratando de apoyar al ejército y a la gente que se está... Es, que, tengo entendido que mujeres y niños son los que están yendo, y más bien los, los hombres están quedando a, a batallar. Eh, can you tell me what about the civilians that are fighting, that are using the... Because I understand that they are giving weapons to civilians to also protect, to, to help with the, with the army, with the local army. Mm, yeah. Okay, now, uh, we have, like, um, this is a legion, and it's a uh, completely, uh, like... Um, we you know we like set this up with our government so uh, there is a territorial uh, defense uh, legion and everybody every man i don't know maybe even a woman uh, who is ready to defend their territory so i mean uh, because we have a lot of sabotage groups as well sabotage groups from, from russia and uh, they try to um sabotage anything i don't know there was a time when they were trying to make some signs 
uh, on our roads, on our, uh, I don't know, fences, anything on our houses as well. And for, uh, for a start, we thought that this is for uh, bombing these objects. They were making these signs, but uh, then we thought that this is for some locating uh, purposes to uh, locate some places. Uh, but actually, I think that right now this is just purposeless uh, you know, thing that they do to distract us because police gets a lot of calls of uh, these uh, sabotage groups making these signs and uh, just uh, that distracts from the real problem when we see a tank, for example, in a city. Uh, with uh, Russian soldiers and uh, you can you just can't manage to call the police because the line is just you know really hot and uh, people are calling about uh, like some signs and something that I uh, saw something like this so and we have the territorial defense to uh, fight sabotage troops and also to fight uh, to fight people who try to get some uh, <laughs> Uh, get some actually advantage from this situation because you know there are some like burglars uh, like yeah. small murders that try to um, uh, burglar shops burglar some houses that were actually abandoned so um, they deal with these kind of criminals that are here and also if uh, the Russian army comes they are ready and they're also like trained to fight them so because like this is the word that is um, this is our war so like i think everybody fights everybody tries to do something uh, soldiers civil people because everybody is engaged completely everybody i don't know anybody who's like sitting and doing nothing um, yeah I, I believe like the whole world is surprised of the nationalism that Ukrainian people are showing because if this happened in other country, most of the people will just leave the country and say bye, you know, I'm out. But a lot of people from Ukraine, they are they are fighting. And when you see the, the size of the Russian army against the Ukrainian army, it's like that is an abuse. And it's hard to believe like it's like if you see a, a, a woman, a, a girl in the corner and they are raping her like everybody's watching that but nobody 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 defend the woman and i believe that is the same that is happening with ukraine like all the war is just watching maybe giving some weapons but the question is when they are going to really step up and you know do something for your for your country i cannot say that like completely europe for example does not doing anything there is a lot of sanctions uh sorry there are a lot of sanctions and um Actually, they sent some weapon, they sent some uh, help, for example, even in my city uh, today, we had uh, ambulance that Poland sent us and me uh, personally, I saw this ambulance today, uh, a car of ambulance. I cannot say that my city is really big and that's why that help is like kind of huge for us, yeah. only this one ambulance. Also, I have some, I know that there are some volunteers from the other countries, like uh, some medical workers that come here to help, help our medical workers. There are some soldiers that help our soldiers. I don't know if it's like true because I cannot like yeah, uh, I check it. this information. I didn't see that. But what I've definitely seen that I saw on the news that we have that ambulance in our city. And this is true because I like really saw that ambulance. So at least you're receiving support for your people. It's like they are not fighting against the Russians, but they are supporting the local military. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Actually, okay. That's, that's good to know. Can, can you give me a second? I want to translate this just very, very fast. Okay, para la gente que no entendió un carajo, este, lo que está diciendo ella es de que de Europa están recibiendo bastante apoyo, no solamente en armas, sino también en equipos médicos. Y que si bien es cierto, otros países no pueden meterse en la guerra porque se jodería todo, al menos están tratando de apoyar al ejército local y a la gente de la zona. So, how do you see things? Because I was listening some news, I was checking the news, and they say that maybe Putin is uh, thinking about using nuclear power. Do you have some, uh, have you listened this about nuclear power? Because that will take to a different level, this war. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, I don't know if he's uh, just like threatening everybody uh, for now, 
but actually he started to use the kind of uh, bomb that is um it is actually a part of his nuclear uh, power um it's iskandar he started to shoot with this iskandar it has nuclear um nuclear cap not sure oh. how to call it but uh, he started to use it and he actually shoots it with shoots with it our uh, cities like completely normal civil cities not our soldiers so he already started with some small amount of this and also what's uh, really strange for me he tried to uh, they try to actually invade our uh, nuclear stations we have the biggest one and the most popular i mean is in chernobyl that i think the whole world whole uh, heard about that in uh, uh, 1986 on april uh this one exploded and it had really terrible um a really terrible consequences for the whole europe for the whole semisphere and there are already three vessels remaining they are full of nuclear uh fluid so actually if these will explode it will have just terrible consequences and the other one Today I saw the news that they are trying to invade Zaporizh, um, Zaporizhia nuclear station. This is the other one nuclear station, and they are actually trying to shoot this. So they are actually trying to bomb it and to make this nuclear nuclear fuel. They want to make it out, explode. So. They want to make explode yeah. the nuclear power that you have in your country. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they actually they do this. They they seem to be. Um, not really concerned about that fact that it's gonna have some consequences for them and really hard consequences like uh when chernobyl exploded it was really terrible not for ukraine for ukraine at the first place because we were the closer the yeah. closest and uh, it was also have uh, it had already some uh, consequences for russia for belarus for uh, a lot of countries in europe so it's actually um can sequence uh, to the whole world to be honest not just europe so um so i i have no idea what will happen if uh, everything that we have they will try to bomb it and what will happen with the part of the world if they will do this and uh, there is actually um uh, russian uh, there were uh, russian news and one journalist really popular russian journalist uh says that um why do we need uh the world if there is no russia so if there is no russia in the world they're going to destroy the world um i can actually share you this video um Maybe you can send but me the I'm link. Sure. You can send me the link after this, and I will put yeah. it in the description below. Eh, yeah, también, yeah. Eh, 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 también voy a incluir un enlace que me ha dado ella eh, para que la gente que quiera donar y por si acaso el enlace es de una página grande, así que no no vayan a decir que se está tirando la platita. I'm telling the people that I will share also the the Facebook page that you sent me before of this. I want to ask you another question. What about people from Russia? Because I know that inside Russia, a lot of people don't agree with this attack and they are also trying to to have manifestation to to how do you do you think these people can make some change in the in putin's uh, intention of keep attacking your country only if all of them uh like we are in this all of them they have to be in this as well they have to uh, make this they have to continue continue their protest not just stand on the process protest one day but like we did in 2014 uh we had maidan we were fighting with police we also had civil war because our president was not uh, yeah. the one who was with ukraine he wanted to give us to a Russian Union, and that's yeah. what we didn't want because we knew what Russia does with the Ukrainians. It have been, uh, it has been like this for ages, to be honest. They were just killing people, killing Ukrainians because of their nationality, basically, and because of our language, because our language is different. It's not Russian. Yeah. And uh, even though like part of Ukrainians, they speak Russian, they do speak Russian because of this historical chain of events. They were killed for ages and they were um, assimilated a bit because of that. So 
actually, yeah. Um, if to talk about Russians, I have uh, a lot of students, uh, a lot of Russian students, to be honest, and uh, only of them text, only one of them texted me today. Um, he actually texted me that he is really sorry for what's going on, that he's really ashamed for their government. So they are really concerned for this and they understand this. And he told me that there is already a part of people who still think that Putin saves us from something that yeah. here Russian soldiers are like, uh, you know, the ones who releasing uh, releasing the the people yeah, yeah, yeah. release us who uh, like uh, share peace and something like this by by killing our kids and killing our yeah. women not just soldiers so i believe yeah, it's going to I be actually, harder it's going to be harder for putin to to hide the news because maybe now he can play with the local media because he he does that but it, with me with I, I think he's banning i don't know i heard something about that, that he's trying to ban facebook i don't know if he already did but if he tried to ban facebook and maybe other platforms he can hold better the 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 news with the the control with the with the media and the narrative but who knows uh, to be honest, we have um, uh, we have an access to uh, in to you Russian news, and what they actually tell there, this is something that is completely like crazy, and we just don't know where where it came from. When you watch Russian news, you just want to go kill yourself. To be honest, because this is a complete lie, and to be honest, uh, some uh, like eastern parts of Ukraine. They have uh, these Russian news and even some Ukrainians, they actually, they believe this like propaganda. Yeah. That's what started eight years ago because we had war eight years ago. It was just on the very eastern part of Ukraine. It was Luhansk and Donetsk and um, like Putin's uh, um, soldiers invaded this and they've been fighting there for eight years. But it was not that like huge. It was not like the whole Ukraine because right now it's completely whole Ukraine. We're like surrounded. We're fighting on the east. We're fighting on the north, and we are fighting on the um, on the um, I want to say west. Uh, and we are fighting on the south. 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 Yeah. South part, yeah. Yeah. No worries. Part of the war when you are with too many problems, it's hard to remember all the all the wars. I think when you. It's harder when you have your own population against your country because that is happening also here in South America. Sometimes they brainwash them and it's mm -hmm. like they can see the bombs that are falling. They can see the, the army that is attacking your country, but they still believe, no, they are trying to rescue us. So yeah. that is the, yeah. the harder part to, to deal with. Um, how do you feel the, the scenario? Do you feel that this is going to be prolonged like several weeks? Do you think this is going to end soon? How do you have an idea or it's hard to tell? Mm, actually, to be honest, first of all, I want to mention about these Ukrainians. Uh, there are not much of this who think like this, but we have it. And again, that's what I am I am a witness of because I'm from Western Ukraine and we uh, talk with such people. They come here, they eat our food that we give the last food to them. They live in our houses and they say that like Russians will come and kill you and uh, we will go to Kiev uh, safe and sound and uh, finally that it's going to be over but that there is not much usually somehow these people are usually very rich somehow you just like these people and this is what i want to actually um ask uh, um our polish neighbors because they come to poland and do the same say that like everything is bad the houses are bad and something like this and that's what i really want to apologize for these bastards to be honest because this is uh, this is just crazy to be honest right now we do not accept men uh as uh, refugees we accept only women and kids and if a man is healthy wealthy and says something like this he goes directly back to the war situation yeah it doesn't I, matter what you know i had a, a friend a friend of mine she's from zimbabwe she's a, a black woman and she told me that they were supporting they they, they were in in favor of uh, ukraine but then they heard news that ukraine were racist and they were discriminating black people but at the same time, check the, the whole point. At the same time, 
she told me that her president is having conversation with Putin. So what I believe is they are playing the same strategy. They are, they are managing the media there to say, no, Ukrainians are racist, so they can win the popularity for Putin in that country and they want to support them, uh, Putin. Um, but you tell me it makes sense that if you are going to help, it's like just yes, kids and, and women, the, the, the guys have to go to, to the war, right? Yeah, 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 basically, yeah. And uh, to be honest, uh, in my nearest city, this is very big city, it's cultural capital of Ukraine, it's Lviv. Um, there are a lot of, to be honest, foreigners and a lot of uh, people of different race. And they study there, usually medicine, something like this, because we have really good medicine universities. They come here. So definitely it's, there is no racism at all. We actually, we are good friends with all of them. So this is a complete myth. Uh, considering this and considering the length of everything that is going on to be honest I don't think that this is going to end in several weeks I'm sure that I I actually hope that it will end in some months at least two months I give this because we have a lot of forces here we have Russia we have Belarus we have Chechen forces so these are already three armies uh, on our territory. And we remember Donetsk, Luhansk, he was fighting with us for eight years um, for these small pieces of our territory, to be honest. And uh, just nobody knew that because it was not that, again, like huge. So uh, we were fighting with this and that, that was okay. That would, we could handle, but this one is already like huge. We have whole uh, Russian country. I don't know how much Belarus people, but we have Belarus uh, forces here and we have Chechen forces here. Uh, these are also complete terrorists, to be honest. They uh, did um, rebel um, in, our, in their country. This is uh, a, a troop that is called Kaderov. Uh, so actually they are here as well. And these are just huge forces that we have here. That's why we, um, I think we will deal with that for a long time with uh, a lot of, uh, a lot of actually people dying, I think, but at least I hope that with the help of the world that we have and that we, um, I hope that we'll not lose in future, uh, that we will manage it and with help of God as well. How, how, uh, how, what do you know about China? Because what I understand is that China is not going to help Russia, but at the same time, they have a 30 year deal of buying Russian gas. So do you think China is not going to help Russia or it's just like uh, they're trying to, they, they are pretending not to help, but at the end they are going to do it? Uh, to be honest, uh, I've been talking only with the Chinese students. Um, all of them, they actually support us completely. Some of them try to help with something. Uh, and uh, I don't know what to, to say about the government. I don't think that they're going to help. I just don't think that there is um, any reason for them to help Putin. Just only for gas, I actually really um, don't think that they will do this, uh, but we'll see. We don't know. Actually, uh, we don't have any concern about China right now because we would definitely have some um, in news, something like this. Uh, but uh, for now, we, we don't have anything like this. And uh, we knew that Belarus is going to help. Uh, it was a, a surprise that Chechen um terrorists uh, helped him uh, this is a huge army of chechen actually really huge again uh, we we didn't know but um, it was actually like uh, obviously putin needs help from other countries um because like in 2014 we didn't join the union that our president that we uh, started civil war because of uh, wanted to sign we had Yanukovych then uh, and he wanted to sign this union with Russia Belarus and uh, I don't remember the other country to be honest I was small then and uh, uh, we like refused uh, our president to do this we went to Maidan to Kiev and we were fighting with the police police uh, was like killing us as well police was killing young people like 18 year old 16 year olds um, because we were standing only with uh, shields of uh, a 
panel and with uh, some sticks basically we didn't have yeah. any weapon uh, right now this is army a professional army we have weapon uh, thanks god a lot of countries also help us with some um, military equipment with some weapon even so that helps us a lot and also even civil people uh, they already they get the weapon someone who knows how to hold the gun um, they do this and actually even civil, civil people do this and have it uh, to defend so i believe i believe putin he didn't expect that the civilians were going to step up and to fight he maybe he thought that people were go it was going to be just one day or two and then that's it but the the longer that the war is going to continue i think the more exposed he's going to be and at the end i believe also the russian people will try to take him down because they are having problem with their economy. Uh, by the way, how old are you? Uh, I'm almost 21. I'm two months. Uh, I will be. That's, that's it. Difficult times yeah. to live in this war, maybe. Yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to yeah. start all your youth in this way. But how do you see your people, the people from, from your age? Like people of your age, how are taking this? No, actually everybody. Um, I was really surprised that, for example, we can uh, like leave the country really easily. We are two hours away from Poland. So Poland is really close to my city. So I had a lot of friends that like, you know, girls that um, they had, it's really popular in Ukraine to work in IT. So they were working with these companies. And when the companies uh, saw that uh, something is going on in Ukraine, these are international companies, they offered, uh, my friends to uh, go abroad they offered them some housing they offered them some hotel for this time but they didn't go they stay here to help and again everybody's trying to do everything that they can uh, the only problem is like with the job so like i had uh, my school with my uh, one of my friends but we had to stop it because this was like ukrainian and in ukraine kind of nobody thinks about english much yeah. but <laughs> again thanks god i have uh, my italki account and that what helps me to uh, earn money and basically we do not think right now about like buying some uh, stuff that is like I don't know any clothes or something stupid like this only <laughs> really necessary food and everything uh, else goes to support army to donate to them yeah so, now now we just survive is the only thing that, that you have in mind yeah yeah but, just by the way before wrapping this episode eh, I'm going to leave in the comment section voy a dejar en la parte de los comentarios en el enlace de Facebook que ella me comentó que me pasó al inicio I want to thank you for your time. Uh, I'm very happy to see you still, you know, alive. Sometimes you, you have this nostalgia because you don't know when is the last time that you're going to talk with someone. I hope you, well, I, I can, we, we just need to, to see what, what is coming because there are things that we can control. So let's try to hope the best. I'm going to wrap this video up and then we, we keep texting. Give me a second.